Hey guys, you're watching Tech Lord. My name is Aditya Rajaraman, and in this video, we'll be comparing the iPhone XR with the iPhone SE 2020. Let's get started. So uh, this is the iPhone SE, and I'll be comparing this phone with the XR. I'll be talking about this phone with respect to different aspects like uh, display, camera, battery, speaker, performance, and other factors. So uh, talking about the display of the iPhone SE. This has a cube little 4.7 inch display. So forget a good performing or a flagship grade phone that you get in 2020. You can't even find a phone under five inches these days. Normally, I'm talking about uh, brands like Samsung and uh, Apple and OnePlus producing phones under five inches. So for that, if you're a person uh, looking for a small display or a great performance in a small display, look no further. The tenor is not for you. It is a gigantic phone. It is very heavy. So in comparison to Tenar, the iPhone SE is definitely the more compatible phone. So if you're looking for a big phone, you should definitely look at the Tenar. So uh, the display gets amply bright. It gets bright up to 625 nits and I've never had a problem with its brightness. I've used this phone only for a day, uh, by the way, but still I've never had uh, any brightness issues even when I took this phone outside to shoot a couple of videos. Uh, so the display is actually the same, uh, you know, the controversial display of it being 326 PPI and being less than 1080p. But to be very honest with you guys, I do not see a problem with the resolution on this phone. I like to watch my videos in 720p, not less than that, but also I do not want to watch a YouTube video in 1440p on my phone. I'd rather prefer watching that video on my laptop if I have to opt for the 1440p variant. So even if I had like a Quad HD or a 4K display on my phone, I think I would definitely opt for the 720p. Uh, and with respect to watching videos so i don't see a problem with this resolution anyway so uh, the display gets a clear pass from my side and it's a very good display actually it's a solid lcd display so with respect to camera so uh, the camera is an interesting part because it has the sensor as an iphone 8 uh, again this is a speculation because it has the body of an iphone 8 apple did not officially tell anyone that it has the camera of an iphone 8 but it looks like the camera sensor uh, on the iphone 8 and it has excellent image processing because of apple a13 bionic so the A13 Bionic kind of gives it a fair advantage over the XR. It has really good image processing uh, power in it. So even if the camera is not good in itself, actually it is, but even if the sensor is not big enough, the A13 Bionic's image processing skills is actually super good. Uh, so with respect to videos, uh, the iPhone XR and the iPhone SE kind of perform the same, but with respect to photos, I would like to give it to the iPhone SE because I feel like you would uh, notice the difference you would notice the improvements on the iphone se you'll see a better photo out of the iphone se uh, because of the a13 image processing again with respect to videos they both can do 4k at 60 fps with optical image stabilization so for the camera department i think i would like to give it to the se and with respect to battery life so the battery life has been the most controversial aspect of iphone se uh, this comes with the 1821 mah battery it comes with a 5 watt charger we all know this glorious uh, no one wants to use this kind of a charger that Apple has been bundling for years and years now. But with respect to the battery, it's kind of an advantage if you want to use the same charger that has been provided in the box because you would be much better off trying to charge an 1821 mAh battery with a 5 watt charger rather than trying to charge the 3000 mAh battery, the 2900 odd mAh battery on the iPhone XR. That's it. Let's talk about the battery life or the battery performance of this phone. So uh, I would like to disclose that all the controversies around this battery uh, issue or battery drain or battery being inefficient is all wrong. So uh, I have used this phone for a day now and I have seen some consistently good battery life out of this. I had to charge this for like 30-40 uh, minutes every now and then. But then if I look at the screen time and the amount of work or the amount of browsing that I have done with this, it is actually giving very good performance. Uh, this phone is being used by my brother currently and he claims that this phone can deliver up to 7 hours. So uh, that's a very impressive thing. So if you could put your uh, phone only through light tasks and you don't try to push the A13 and try to test its uh, uh, power, then I think you'll be good uh, good enough uh, with around uh, six to seven hours of battery life. So uh, I have seen this across uh, other videos and tutorials uh, and comparisons where people basically run this uh, phone through YouTube videos and music streaming and all of that. And it lasts nine hours and more. So uh, you just need to know what you're getting a particular phone for and what you can push on a particular phone. So if you get the iPhone SE, this is certainly not to game. And this is not a phone in which you can game as well. Or this is not a phone in which you should be pushing 4K at 60 FPS without having a power bank. So if you try to push the camera in its maximum capacity without a power bank, then you might have a problem with its battery life. So uh, this phone also has... Uh, 
ample uh, quality and clarity in its speaker so i put it against the oneplus 60 and i really feel like the clarity out of uh, the oneplus 60 is a little better than the iphone se but then the volume and the sheer amount of volume that you can get out of the small device is actually impressive very impressive so uh, definitely the iphone 10r is better off with respect to uh, the speaker uh, performance but the iphone se is definitely not bad it has a stereo set of speakers and it has done consistently well so if i want to watch a video i would not have a problem trying to put this out on my speaker whereby several mid-range android phones that i have used i would not have the confidence to just play the video on the speaker that's not a problem with the iphone se so with respect to performance again this is running a13 bionic and i've said so i have just mentioned what you can and cannot do if you want good battery life out of this so that's it. If you even want to game on this, it is a 60 FPS display. But if you want to play Call of Duty on this, this is probably going to give you better Call of Duty performance than your Galaxy S20 Ultra or your OnePlus 8T or whatever. So uh, if you are willing to push this on a game or something, you're not going to have a problem with respect to its performance, but you will have a problem with respect to its battery life. Talking about the other aspects or the miscellaneous aspects of this phone, this phone supports IP67 water resistance. It supports wireless charging and it comes with these lightning ear pods in the box. I just forgot how amazing these were. It has really good quality and really punchy base, uh, but it doesn't have silicone tips. So if you're one of those people who can wear this and not have a problem, then you're really lucky. So uh, this also has Touch ID instead of Face ID. By now you would have figured because it has the body of an iPhone 8, it has a Touch ID instead of a Face ID. I really like the Touch ID on this and considering we are all uh, wearing masks now, this is a statement that everyone has to make, right? So uh, with uh, us all wearing masks right now, uh, the Touch ID is not such a bad deal and the Touch ID works really fine. So I have been very comfortable with Face ID, but then trying out Touch ID for the last 24 hours has actually proven that I do not have any problem with the Touch ID as well. And it is not an outdated uh, fingerprint scanner just because it's physical. It actually has a very good feel to it and it's very responsive and it's very quick. So if you're able to grab this phone for less than 30,000 rupees on Flipkart, uh, big billion days, I think you're good to go. This is a really good deal. And uh, this is a really good deal only if you want iPhones again, because there are a lot of competitive phones in the Android segment as well. Uh, so if you want iCloud, if you want iMessage and you want that uh, protection and security, then I think this is a really good option to look for if you can grab this for under 30,000 rupees. Uh, that said, I would like to summarize all the things that the iPhone SE has, uh, the iPhone SE has going for it. So, uh, it has a really impressive processor. It has very good cameras. It has a good display, definitely a good LCD display. It has very impressive stereo speakers and it has wireless charging and IP67 water resistance, which you might not necessarily find in this price range. Other than that, the rest of the factors like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are all common with the iPhone XR. So, uh, let's talk about the iPhone XR now. Now let's talk about the iPhone's first budget flagship. So uh, now that I've spoken about iPhone SE, there are not a lot of things that are different from the iPhone SE. So just let me just talk about the differentiating factors. First of all, it's a chunky boy. You see it, right? At 6.1 inches, it's super big, especially when you put it next to an iPhone SE. I cannot put it next to an iPhone SE because I'm recording on an iPhone SE now. So uh, it's a 6.1 inch display. This is a sub 1080p display too. And again, I'm okay with it. It has 650 nits of peak brightness, so it's a little brighter than the iPhone SE, but you will not notice a big difference. Uh, this is a very impressive display too, although just like the bezels on the iPhone SE bother me, the bezels on the iPhone XR also bother me. So uh, now let's talk about the camera because there's really not much to talk about the display. You know what you're getting into? It's a sub 1080p display, it's an LCD display, it's color accurate and it's crispy. So let's talk about the camera. So the camera performance is actually kind of interesting. Uh, not because of the camera in itself, but because of the battery with respect to the camera usage. So uh, the camera on this phone is pretty good. Again, like I had mentioned, I would like to give the advantage to the iPhone SE if I'm talking about the photos. And with respect to videos, I see both are more or less the same. So uh, when it comes to the battery consumption while using the camera, just because this phone has a better battery, if you're one of those people who would like to vlog or if you're one of those people who like to shoot 4K videos for long durations, I think you should look out for this phone if you do not want to use it with a power bank or if you do not want to excessively heat your phone up. So uh, that's it. The camera is almost the same as the iPhone SE. So with respect to display and with respect to camera, with respect to display, it's your personal preference. Do you want a big display or a small display? So with respect to that, you should be picking on the iPhone SE or the iPhone XR. With respect to camera, uh, there is a slight advantage to the iPhone SE, although when you pair it up with the battery consumption, I would like to give the advantage to the iPhone XR. So with respect to battery life, 
this one through the iPhone 10R definitely takes it. You can game on this phone. The A12 Bionic is not far behind the A13 Bionic, though the A13 Bionic is very impressive actually. So the A12 Bionic is still faster than Snapdragon 855 and it can game really well. So if you're one of those people who wants to game on an iPhone because the gaming experience on an iPhone is actually very, very underrated and it's very good. So if you want to game on an iPhone, you need to get the iPhone 10R. That's if you're considering between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 10R. So the speakers on these are also pretty impressive. They are definitely louder and the clarity on these is actually better than the iPhone SE. So if you're a speaker person, if you'd like to play videos on this for long durations, then I think you should consider the iPhone XR over the iPhone SE. So with respect to performance, like I had mentioned, the 812 Bionic is no slouch, although you are not getting the latest processor. So uh, you might also want to consider that this phone is two years old by now while the iPhone SE has actually released in 2020. So since the iPhone 12 is not available for orders now, the iPhone SE as of this time, as of me recording this video right now, is the latest phone that you can buy from Apple. So talking about the other factors of this phone, the other differentiating and non-differentiating factors of the iPhone XR, this also has IP67 water resistance, this also has wireless charging uh, support, this also supports up to 18 watt of fast charging but you again get only a 5 watt charger with this as well. So if you're going to have to charge your phone with this charger, it's going to take an eternity before you finish charging. So you might want to get an 18 watt cable especially if you're getting this phone. So other than that, uh, this has a face ID sensor instead of a touch ID sensor. So right now you might not have the best experience with face ID considering you cannot use it every now and then uh, unless you have a secret vaccine for yourself. So uh, the tenor usually sells for around 52,500 to around 50,000. So if you can find this in uh, offers for less than 40,000 rupees, then this is actually a very worthy phone and it's a solid competitor to the iPhone SE. So based on your personal preference, like if you want a small and compact phone that has decent speaker performance, incredible camera performance and incredible processor performance, then you should probably opt for the SE. And if you want a bigger display with a more modern display, even though the display is not necessarily better. And if you want better speakers and better battery life, then you should opt out for the iPhone XR. So that's it for this video. So if you like the video, make sure you give a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. You're watching Tech Lord. This is Aditya Rajaraman. See you in the next video. Bye bye.